A doctor inserts the microchip between your thumb and index finger using a device similar to a syringe. Now, these chips can actually be really helpful tools, and they utilize the same technology used in phone payments. With this tiny device, your body essentially becomes a contactless key. It can open doors using sensors and can even start a car. They last anywhere from 10 to 20 years and can be removed with a small incision in the skin. A doctor inserts the microchip between your thumb and index finger using a device similar to a syringe. Now, these chips can actually be really helpful tools, and they utilize the same technology used in phone payments. With this tiny device, your body essentially becomes a contactless key. It can open doors using sensors and can even start a car. They last anywhere from 10 to 20 years and can be removed with a small incision in the skin. Shalom. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rekak Wadai, Shem Double Honor to the Apostles and Elders, Great Millstone for teaching this truth that's grown all around the earth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. All right. It's your brother, Atajawan Bayat. And just a real quick lesson, right? Just a lesson that, you know, has been gone through and taught over and over again. And um, as we see these things going on in the earth right now, right, there's nothing wrong with a refresher. There's nothing wrong with uh, keeping it fresh in your mind about what the ultimate goal and plan is for these devils who are running this system, as we saw in that uh, AI illustration, okay, about receiving that sea hip, okay? And we're gonna keep harping on this until we finally get to the end, all right? Until we can't do it anymore. So, we're going to uh, the usual scripture. Here's Revelation 13 and 16, it reads, and it causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And we've gone into the meaning of the word mark here in the Greek, which is charasma, okay, um, which has to do with subdermal, right, uh, etching or mark or uh, something implanted, okay, and we have said over and over again that it will be that M to the O to the T to the B, okay, that you're starting to see more and more frequent <coughs> in different illust uh, illustrations on different uh, platforms, okay? Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, okay? And we've gone into that many, many times, all right? <clears throat> because you should, you should understand by now, everything is connected to each, let's say, individual. And I'm not gonna make this video real, real long, uh, but just to get to the point that you, you should see it by now, okay? Uh, everything's connected to you by or via a number of some type. Right, usually, usually your uh, social security number. All right, your credit score is attached to that. Any loans that you've ever applied for, you know, will be on that. All right, um, a, a social credit system will be in place here shortly. Okay, all these things. Your doctor, uh, if you go to the doctor, if you have any kind of medical issues or reports or anything such as that. You know, they loading all this stuff up, you know, uh, where you work, how much you make, okay, all those different things, your banking information, how much you, you got in your savings and your checking, any investment accounts you have, all that's going to be connected to that M to the O to the T to the B, okay? There won't be anything hid from this man when he implements this thing, okay? All privacy will go out of the window, all right? 
and it's a, and it's a real thing, okay, that's going to be here really, really soon, okay? And the scriptures speak about it, and that and that's what we're going into. So that was Revelation 13. Let's drop right down here, just get to the point. It's Revelation 24, and it reads, And I saw thrones of they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, that beast is this system, okay, of this man, all right, who was the last what to rule before our Savior, Yahweh Shai, comes back, okay? And for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark, okay? And when you go into this particular verse, that word mark is still the same as it is in 13, Revelation 13, Tawakia. You see it here, Haragma. Okay? So it's talking about the same thing. All right? So let's get back here and finish the verse out. Well, I'll start at the top again. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, right? Because you got those out there <laughs> who try to be petty and say, well, if I get it in my left hand, then that means I'll be all right. No, you can't get it at all, okay? Neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, right? And they lived and reigned but Mashiach a thousand years, you see? So those who stood stiffly for the word of Yahweh Shem Shai, some will be beheaded, some will be imprisoned, whatever the case may be, all right? That will be the elect who will stand stiffly for the word of the Lord. Now, we'll quickly go over here to Revelation 18. Jump in right there in verse 20. It says, Rejoice over her, thou heavens, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for Yahweh hath avenged you on her, and the her is Babylon the Great, all right? And this system that's being run by this man, okay? Verse 21, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of harpers and musicians and pipers and trumpets shall be heard no more at all in thee. And no craftsman or whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of millstones shall be heard no more at all in thee, the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived, right? And the policies and administration and presidents and what have you have deceived the nations, okay? with the wine of this wicked whore, okay? Babylon the Great, okay? And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth, you see? So these devils have come over into this land and spilled the blood of the prophets, okay? Because eventually, you know, some will be martyred. But if you look at the history of this land, it's innocent blood of the Israelites that has been spilled here, the saints. Okay. Now we'll go over here to uh, Second Ezra, Tawakia. And this is um, chapter 11, and it goes into the vision uh, that Ezra's got, okay, through the angel. I'm going to jump in right here, verse 36, all right? And 
you can read this chapter on your own. We'll just get to the main points down here, verse, uh, verse 36 on down, okay, which explains to you <coughs> the lion and the eagle, okay, and, and, and Yahweh Shai is speaking to this eagle or to this beast system, okay, which is the last to rule and reign on the earth before he comes, okay, and that's who you see this ruler now, who? Esau Edom, okay, verse 36, and it reads, uh, then I then I heard a voice which said unto me, Look before thee and consider the thing thou seest, and I behold, and I beheld Slaki, and lo, as I were a it as it were a roaring lion chased out of the woods, and I saw that he sent out a man's voice unto the eagle, right? And you know what's on the back of a quarter, right? What's on the back of a dollar bill, okay? All right, you can figure that out. And said, Hear thou, I will talk with thee, and the highest shall say unto thee, Art not thou it that remaineth of the four beasts, the four different captivities that the Israelites were under? Okay, and this is the last one. Okay, this is the last beast that's what? Characterized by the eagle. All right, the Roman Empire, even up to today, was this is Rome reincarnated. All right, whom I made to reign in my world, that the end of their times might come through them. Right, so that's how you know when we say that Esau Edom <coughs> is the end of the world or the beast that will be ruling when Yahweh Shai comes back. Okay, verse thirty-nine. Right. Going on to verse 40, and it says, And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were past and had power over the world with great fearfulness and over the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression. For so long time dwelt he upon the earth with deceit. All right, and that's what these people have done with their policies, right, and their governance and their wicked ideas uh, for uh, banking, international banking, right? For uh, having a system that did nothing but oppress the Israelites. All right? Verse 41, For the earth hast thou not judged uh, with truth, for thou hast afflicted the meek, thou hast hurt the peaceable, thou hast loved liars, and destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit and hath cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Therefore is thy wrongful dealing come up unto the highest and thy pride, who's prideful, right? The Edomites, okay? Unto the mighty, the highest also hath looked upon the proud times and behold, they are ended and his abominations are fulfilled. And therefore appear no more, thou eagle, nor thy horrible wings, nor thy wicked feathers, nor thy malicious heads, nor thy hurtful claws, nor all thy vain body, that all the earth may be refreshed, right? So the earth can't be refreshed until these devils are taken out of power, right? The earth is, 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 is crying out. The trees are crying out, okay? The fish in the water are crying out from all the toxins and pollution that these devils have put out into the earth. You see? So the earth has to be refreshed. All right? Verse 46, again, that all the earth may be refreshed and may return, being delivered from thy violence, and that she may hope for the judgment and mercy of him that made it right. So, when Yahweh Shai returns, these devils will be taken out of power, okay? The earth will be refreshed, okay? And once they serve that thousand-year punishment, the Lord is just going to do away with them, all right? Everything will be made new, all right? So just a refresher, just to go back over it, because I saw that little video clip, right, <coughs> that we have in the beginning of this lesson, okay? And it just made me think of these scriptures, all right? 
So it's amazing how how about Shimmy Al Shai works, you know, on your mind. You know, you could hear something, you could see something, and right away, scriptures will begin to pop into your mind. Okay, and next thing you know, hey, you got a lesson, right? So we'll end it right there. We're willing, you know, you get something out of it. You know, you learn something from it. Okay, and just keep your eyes peeled, right? Because these things are coming to pass. Like it's it's becoming more and more clear as each day goes on. All right, and, and, and we should begin to, you know, feel uplifted. Okay, because the 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 words of this book, the, the scriptures are are alive and well. Okay, and and, and we should. You know, thank the Lord for that. You know, that he's opened up our eyes to see it, all right? Because many of our people are still blind, all right? So uh, that'll do it for the lesson, just real quick. Just, just a thought that I had when I saw that, all right? So uh, we'll end it right there. Give it all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Makak Madash, all right? And we'll see you again real soon with another lesson, Lord willing. Shalom.